continent, if you take a look at what is happening around those um, issues that Nigeria is currently dealing with, some of them are also value related. So, uh, how you know do we go from here in terms of you know really pushing this value to in such a way that issues like kidnapping, you know, all these things are having well, uh, you know, most of these things, uh, especially the problem, the main problem that we seem to have today, this kidnapping, uh, uh, you know, of people, and they've turned it into business. And this is individual, uh, in the characters, you know, probably organized uh, or encouraged by. Uh, either some you know, people who certainly are trying to make it a business. Otherwise, this sort of thing, do we in Fermin, even think of it years ago? Certainly during my time, no, nothing of the sort, except anyone that does any stealing, etc. and of course meet, uh, met with Fermin, uh, you know, the justice you know, of the time. To me, it's a question of you know, praying and appealing to the various individuals who are really engaged in this uh, you know, criminality, uh, to really think of the evil that they're doing to, the, uh, to society and to see how, I mean, this, uh, how they can really change. And this is why, if I mean, we say sometimes we pray Yes, the prayer does not take a gun to go and sort out this thing. But I believe in the power of prayers, God can really touch the heart of that individual and change, uh, and change that person uh, from doing that. At least he may repent. He may not probably expose himself so that he can be seen that he is uh, 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 you know, repenting from uh, the, what, what he's doing. But probably that change probably could take place without anyone know, either knowing. And you know, this is uh, today, if I'm in, uh, as, uh, as head of state, I lead you know, a prayer in a campaign for uh, something to be done which we human beings you know, cannot, you know, cannot deal, uh, you know, deal with. And you know, I believe that uh, that you know, can happen. So let us not, if I'm in, that uh, is shy from really continuing to pray, but to really ask also the authorities uh, and the, uh, you know, on our uh, security, you know, forces to do whatever they can, you know, to, uh, you know, to see if they can really do something, you know, about it. So it is prayer with, of course, the, the, the work of the security uh, uh, people trying, uh, trying their best, you know, to deal with that particular problem. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Reforms and, of course, intervention by the office of the state to ensure that the narrative in the country changes. Thank you very much. These changes that are being introduced by the current administration certainly underscore the emphasis which. Ably, that is promoting this conference for which we've come to brief the First Lady, the kind of values we want to project in society is the kind of thing that, in fact, government seem to be already seriously fighting to make sure that people live by the values of honesty, integrity, honor, productivity, and creativity working so as to be real as it were, you are sure that you are producing something. And uh, we want to congratulate government in these reforms because they are very fundamental. They touch the basic issues of society. And if we sustain it, there will be a transformation. Because societies are really changed through values. If people really abide with values which we are promoting, this organization that is holding this conference in October. Right across Africa, we want to promote these values that leadership should be value-based. And the key values of respecting integrity. Leaders must be men and women of honor, consistently good, because they are role models. 
the same time, there must be respect for justice and the just social order. If there is no justice, there will be trouble. Anywhere there is no justice, you can be sure there will be tension. That's why this, the value of justice is extremely important. The value of good reputation. Let's take a good reputation. It's very, very. So we, we support these uh, programs that should be sustained. And those who are giving Nigeria a bad name should think again. Because you carry them nowhere. How do you kidnap ordinary people? Even God being. Human beings are loved by God. You kidnap human beings. You punish them. You degrade them. You do all the kind of things. Believe you me, not just human beings. Even God is annoyed when you maltreat human beings for money. So this is why when uh, General Gowan said it's a question of prayer and transformation, it's very, very important that inner conscience should judge people so that the human being is the most precious gift because God created us in his own image. <laughs> and those who want to manipulate that image, God will deal with them. <laughs> you say amen. Thank you very much. <laughs>